Hello, this is Miss Melissa with Preschool Learning Garden. We're gonna be measuring with a watermelon today. The first thing that we're gonna measure is the weight. Weight is how heavy or light something is. Now there's two different scales that you could use. One would be a balance scale where you put items on both sides. Or you could use like a scale that you would stand on to measure the weight of a person. For this type one, this watermelon is so big, it might break it. So we're gonna use this type of scale to measure how heavy it is. Wow, 17 pounds. That's a heavy watermelon. The next thing that we're gonna measure is the length and the height. Length is how long an object is end to end. And the height is how tall a person or object is standing up. Now there's two different ways to measure the length and the height, and that is using non-standard units or standard. For non-standard, I have these little blocks. Non-standard just means that you can choose any type of object to help measure. It doesn't have to be exact with exact numbers. It's just a guess or an estimate to see it, how close it could be using objects. And that's what we're gonna use with these, do with these blocks. Okay, can you help me count? See how many blocks tall this watermelon is? All right, so it's end to end. So from the bottom up all the way, and I'm gonna put my hand across to, to make sure we get it all the way to the top. Okay, one, two, One more. What's after 11? 12. All right, let's see. There we go. It's 12 blocks tall. That's the height. Now let's see about the width, how long it is from end to end. All right, I got my hand right here. Hmm. Might be easier to do that. So not quite. Let's add a few more see how long it is. 12, there was 12 here, so 13. 14. Yeah, I think that's about right. 14 blocks wide. That's how long it is. Hmm, now let's measure this uh, with standard units. So that would be, I have a ruler and a measuring tape. Let's try the ruler. This is called a ruler. On one side it has inches, and on the other side the small numbers are centimeters. Let's measure in inches. Right about there, it's about eight and a half inches tall. All right, let's see if it's any different using a measuring tape. This is called a measuring tape. Let's use this to measure how long it is. All right, from end to end. All right, I'm gonna try to get the best I can at the this end. Okay, all right about, let's put it in a little bit, right about there. And that's at the 11, 11 inches long. I'm going to cut a hole in the top and use this cup to drain out the juice and see how much juice comes out. Now this is something that your grown-ups can help you do at home.
Now let's see how much we got out. A lot of it went on the table as I was pulling the cup out. Don't make that mistake. But let's see what was left. Not much, but it was fun doing it anyways. This is the extra watermelon juice that came out from the bottom of our big giant watermelon. It's hard to tell the numbers, but there's one cup right here and it's the next line above that, which is a fourth. So one and a fourth cup of watermelon juice. Hope you enjoyed learning all about measurement with watermelon today. Let's finish with a word of prayer. Get your prayer hands ready. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your prayer hands. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for watermelon and how yummy it is and that we can have fun learning with watermelon. May we glorify you in all that we say and do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day, and let your light shine for Jesus.